Right, we're here this morning with uh, a Lahan Yurman, staunch Lahan Yurman, and he's going to give us our life story. The name is Joe Byrne. He was born in Edgeney, next door to Neil O'Donnell's. And we were, he was going to, he's coming up on, he's six months away from his 90th birthday. So we'll, I'll say in the morning, I'll introduce you to Joe. I'll welcome him to the show and uh, let him tell us his story. You're welcome, Joe. Right. I went to school when I was four years. And the first day when we got out of we paid him. They headed for home. Oh boy. Across the mountain. Mm -hmm. And uh, God rest, Dan had to follow me. That's the brother. Mm -hmm. And he took me back to school. That was it. That was the start of it. That was the start. So then you were at school then. What, who was the teachers that was there that time, Joe? Paddy Johnny Hayne was one of them, and his sister, Lizzie, and one we used to call Miss Hart. Yeah. She was Mrs. McBride. She got married to the master that was there, Paddy McBride. Uh -huh. Was Paddy McBride the moisture more? He was from, from Kirch Island. Mm -hmm. Paddy Johnny Hayne was yeah. from Belkirch, and Lizzie was from Belkirch. Mm -hmm. Then I was there till I was 14. And the next port of call of I don't mean secondary education in German. <laughs> no, at the potatoes. At the potatoes, get them the tallies. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were there. But any of them, a dozen or a new people there that time. Mm -hmm. Oh, we had a good crack, too, you know. Yeah, yeah. But getting up early in the morning was a. That was a problem. That was the big problem. <laughs> was a, mm -hmm. no, the, one that was looking after the thing, she was Mary Houston from my bed. She would come in about four o'clock in the morning and the bell would oh boy. ring in the bed. She mm -hmm. made sure you were waking early. Yeah. And how long were you, what was the season six, from six, when six, to? From June to oh, November. And then what kind of, what money would you get for oh, that? Three pound eleven. And if you missed a day or a wet day, you were. That was for the whole season, Joey. Oh, no, no, 3.11 a week. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. And what, that was all saved, was it, when you, for? For a big hill. Mm. When you had to buy clothes for yourself. Yeah. And how much of that would you have home with you at the time? Oh, yeah, it would be. Maybe 10 pounds would be the head of it. But that was a lot of money back then. Oh, was a lot of money. What would that what would the value of that be the days you Oh god. Well that time if you're cutting top for somebody, you get a pound a day. Mm -hmm. No it was worth must have been worth about No, it was about ten, ten days. Ten ten days. Aye, aye. Tough cutting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that was good for a young fellow like you. Aye. aye. How many was in your how many was in your own family? Eleven. Well, oh. Eleven born. Mm -hmm. four of them died. Oh boy. Their oldest brother, the oldest, he was four and a half when he died, Roger. Oh man. I know he, he was never in Banna Elger. Yeah. He died up in my mother's old home up in Lawn Hill. Ah, right. Uh, up for, to me, me, for many more. And aye. Barry and me, he was up beside me. Yeah, up beside us, right. Was there, what was their names, George? Uh, well, the eldest the boy that died was, was Roger. Mm -hmm. The next one was Oni, John, Mary, mm -hmm. Kiwi, Hacky, and myself. Seven was left. Yeah, seven was left, yeah. And that, that time then was the. Um, that time, Joe, was the. Um, what was it like in Lohanur? What was it like? What was the what was your Kahawamshir if you like? What was your mother's boss? She can play football in the evening. Yeah. The first ever county game I went to was in Letter Kenny in nineteen forty eight. The new Almanac. Oh man. And what age would you have been roughly about that time? Seventeen. Oh boy, How did you manage to get there? 
And the bank buddies are still alive. <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, and there's a what, November day and all our stuff. Oh, shit. We had no, there were no donkey jackets or anything. Nothing, yeah. there. <gasps> that was dedication, I'll tell you. Right. Uh, and Danny, that's the first day I've seen. Yeah. And I went, remember, Edie Burke was playing a wee door. Yeah. And red jacket from Manish. There were two of them in the old team. Ah, two of the main stays that team. Well, the weather. <gasps> What year, what year did you say that was, Joe? In 48. Huh? I'm sorry, 48. Huh? So that's it. So you went on then, you were in the tatties then, and what happened then? You went on from. I attended the... then, what happened? I took TB. Oh boy. Right. And I done. Yeah. I done. I go to hospital, I done four months in Canada. Now. Yes. And then I was transferred up to Castle Reed in County Roscommon. I spent a year and four, four, a year and four months all together with another. And at that time, Joe, that was not a nice experience. Oh, you're right. Everybody thought it was dead. Yeah. Oh, boy. But they took over. And there were a lot of, lot of families mm. decimated with it. Yeah. They had no cure for it, really. They had no I'll tell you the man that got the cure for it was Dr. Noel Brown. Yeah. You know, the coalition government and the power that day. Mm -hmm. And he was a minister for health. And he put up two orders with the egg and ready for getting the ready the T B. Yeah. Because the castle the place in Castle Bay was a mental hospital. And he transferred all the patients, the mental patients that was there to Maryland Park in Galway. Mm -hmm. And he opened Castle Bay as a sanatorium. Well he was a doctor himself, wasn't he? He was a doctor himself. Aye, aye. And his mother and father died with T B. So he had a strong interest in it. Uh, he was a bit of a hero at the time. My really. God, he got rid of it. He did. Uh, well, that was, well, had that any that had, had that any effect on your life after that no, show? No, not, <coughs> not a bit. Mm -hmm. And then. Well, I had no operations on it. Yeah. There was some kind of medicine they give you. Streptomyces they call it. Maybe I'm not proper nursing it right, but... Oh, jeez, I'll tell you, you have some memory, I'll tell you. Uh, you have some memory, that's your mind information, really. So you you finished up then, with your, you got cured then, and from then on then, what was the... I was going to Scotland again. And what were you at there, Joe? Working on the Belton sites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you had a wee bit more, more money that thing. That's right. When yeah. it was a good two years later, right? Yeah. And then what year did you, you come here and that you settled down? What, that you I got married in 1956. So, so Bridget? Right. But your second August 1956. Yeah. And how did you, we have to ask you the question, how did you meet up with? Oh, called him a romance. Had a bit Scottish on his rabbit hole. Oh, very good. Aye, aye, aye. And, she, and was she done low bone herself? Oh, or? she referred to you. Oh, right, very good. Uh, right. And that, that was the eye. So then you had, you had two daughters then. Two daughters. Yeah, so you'd be proud of them, I would say. <laughs> yeah, very good. Uh, so that was it. Now you the, also you're at the handball show. Oh, aye. Oops. How did that. Well, I won the, I won the Ulster on the 18th. I won the Ulster. I think in 1951. Yes. I don't know what age now. I would, I would be about 20 years of the time. I know a bit, a bit of fellow from Ronan. Named Aidan Cullen in the thing. For Ulster, like? Aye, for the one Ulster. Mm -hmm. Oh, square achievement, Joe. Oh, jeez, that was a great achievement. Oh, the man that pushed me on two-thirds. Oh, for someone. You know what? Thomas McBride down the door. Oh, the, down in the bun bag? Aye. Ah, right. And why, would he, why did he get involved? Well, he took interest in, he had interest in that handball. Yeah. He used to come up to watch it, or watch us play enough on it. Up in Lawn Yeah. And you were just a natural, natural. Ah, of course. Aye. Practice attitude. Mm -hmm. It was every evening, wasn't it? Oh, every evening. It was every hard to get a game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, damn right. No. We had to get a game because all all the gang would be gathered there that day. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy Young and your, your, your mother's uncle. Yeah. He sat there all day watching. And it was a good day. Yeah. Yeah, great. 
Yeah. You didn't blame Zell? No, no, I was told. Ah, yeah, yeah. What year would that, would that Hanbal Alley have been built to? It must have been built in the late 40s. Yeah. It should be in the end of the year that bought it. That built it. Yeah. They done it all and did they do the plaster on it as well? Oh, I would say they did. And where did that come from? Why, why was there a handball alley built then? No, I think it was Paddy Rooney, there was, there was a principal in the, the tech. He had a different handball and something yeah. that mm -hmm. was the man behind it. Yeah. To get it built. Right. And it kept, it kept, not alone, I suppose, the, the, the village along you, but it kept the parish going as well, didn't it? Oh, it did. Right. And then came up from Gidor to it as well. Aye. Up from Kincastle. Yeah, yeah. So they covered cover the three parishes. The lobes, the lobes of Kincastle, they would be all the way at secondary school. Mm -hmm. We can uh, used to play in Hanbury. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then did you go on then for the All Ireland or, or no, just Ulster? No. That, ah, that was the end of it. That was the end of it then. Well, it wasn't the end of playing, but. Aye. Um, Aye, but you, there was no All Ireland that time. And would you, do you think, would you have, well, of course, it's a, kind of a, a kind of a hypothetical question, but would you, do you think, were you good enough to win in all Ireland? Well, I know, it would be hard to beat him. Yeah, 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 you didn't get the chance to prove it. No, no, no is it? Yeah. But what about, what was times like, uh, the times, uh, and Ron, you were... I that time, the ones Ron, you, I remember the light, with the livelihood, mm -hmm. from the Fun and the Lime. Yes, could you tell me that story, Joe? Fun and the Lime. Aye. What do you remember it from being from being a young fellow? Could you tell me right up to, you know, who was in it and who was the, you know, the likes of the quarries there and all that kind of thing? Oh, well, everybody, everybody quarried their own. Yeah. Yeah, the, everybody, I don't know how they divided it, the Yaka. Mm -hmm. Aye. Well, from, from my experience, the Yaka was divided in five metres or five yards, aye, but for uh, you just, well that was common as you were with them, uh, that was, uh, so, but um, that was, and that was for everybody then, but the oh. burner of the lane then. And the lane, oh, uh, oh, your, your, your mother's uncle's had two, two lane cats. Yeah, Jimmy Owen. Jimmy Owen and yeah. Don. John and Don. John. Uh, mm -hmm. And what I, didn't was know, I didn't know John at all. I knew John. I knew Jimmy and John. Yeah. Jimmy that led me to cut that. Oh boy. Aye. <laughs> right. He was supposed to be a mild manner, kind of. Oh, he was a very Aye. nice man. Aye. 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 Tall, tall, thin man. Yes, yes. But they were, I suppose, the kingpins, were the, they were the main ones in the lane. And they were the cousin too, kind of. Aye. That's what they did. Yeah. Uh, well, the whole village gained from it, Joe, did they? From the lime? Aye. Ah, they did, aye. aye. There would be people... Aye, the, the lime, I think it's two shims, a, a barrel of lime, they used to call it. Yes. Or maybe about a stone or two stone. Aye. I don't know, two shims. Mm -hmm. And the way, the way, how can that all run the roses and get old? Yeah. To get it sold. Yeah. A horse and cart or a donkey and cart or yeah. Uh -huh. that was a transport. Yeah. But was there, not, was there people then that came in with their own transport, if you like, their donkeys and cart from from outside the area? Well, I suppose if they wanted to climb. Aye. And they wanted to take you with them. Yeah. That was quite welcome to take it. Yeah, yeah. It's just that you, bits of snippets of stories, you see, that you would hear during the years, like, you know. So that was the fishing, you had no interest in the fishing? No, no. Well, apart from fishing in the evening down a bit, fishing off the shore, just. Yeah, yeah. But, but there was gillies that time, there was about five or six gillies in Lohan that time. I don't remember them. Uh, it was just only for, from, from the stories, just the man said. Really so that was it. Young, young. Yeah. I was young. I was a school at the time. Yeah. If you come home in the evening, three or four, three or three, it was. Yeah, big stuff. Big stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got married then, we'll, we'll move on. You got married then, and so you settled down here in Dunlow. Uh, yes, and uh, you just kind of worked. What were you doing there? Uh, I was away in England for a while. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Margaret Thatcher's town. Oh, Grant, Grantham. oh boy, yeah. That's where she was. Yeah, yeah. And what were you at there? Edens. 
Very good. Aye. Aye. And that, what was there for Joe? What were they for? It was for sewers. Ah, sewers. That are um, PT. Uh, 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 I not some people from around here working on it. Yes. And was there, there was a lot of big work there at that time, wasn't there? I had a lot of plenty of work on it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So then, uh, that was, so then you, you, were on the, you moved on, then you were on the post then for a good while? That's the post for 1963. Yes. And I was on for 33 years. Oh boy, well, I didn't know you were on that. No, no I was on the 1960. Oh. You would have met a lot of people that, and, and that. Oh, Met everybody on your route. Yeah, yeah. Every day. Whenever you come to get a letter. Yeah. And what was there any. Yeah. You were on the base of your letter. Yeah. And what area did you cover, Joe? Well, I covered the, the town here. Yeah. And Bell Hill, Chatham Road. Yeah. Been born, Bell Hill, Chatham Road. Yeah. And just on their own, Cray Boy, Crowley, Nyamara, Father Shattuck, Nyatorcha. And the one day? Why? What's the base again? Oh, the base. That was not too easy. That was not easy. No matter what the day was like, you had to go. Oh, yeah, you had to go. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. You know, so then, um, your football then, Joe, you were. Oh, I was. I did enter the football. You had. You had. Uh, what would be the what would be the most important time apart from us one of our well, airlines? Would there be any other well, uh, important Are you talking about support and law? Oh ah, well anything at all, Julian. Just because Aye. Money's selling and what was saying was playing well, I don't know. Ah right. Uh, they won two county championship medals. Yeah. They were good players then, but two good players. Aye. Aye. Yeah. They I well, that's just that it was kinda of, Rosses Rovers that time or, or? No, it was on loan. Oh, just on loan. That's on loan. They were then Rosses. Yeah. Or St. Cones came in before Rosses Rovers. Aye, aye. I think they did that, no? Yes, aye. Mm -hmm. See, Anniger was in a parish until 1948. Oh! That's when Anniger was in a parish. Oh. That thing. But they had, um, the chapel was. Uh, the chapel was there, but. No. It's what the priest used to go to Mount Kinkastan to read the Mass. Ah, right. Uh, so everybody then from Lahan, you were up to that, was buried in Kinkastan? Oh, that's the one I read. From the, what we know now is the Anagura Parish. Yeah. And they used to carry the, carry the, there was some of them buried in Belcrutch too. Yeah. You know, Kinkastan, and then they would, they would carry the coffin from, from Lahan, you know. Oh, boy, boy. Oh, that's good. So that's it, so like um, uh, Bridge passed away then. Bridge passed away in 1912. 2012. Yeah. 2010. 2010. Yeah. 2010. That's it. Oh, Jesus, now that was. Uh, that's a heap of information for any morning to get. Oh, wow. <laughs> so. Um, I said, well, we'll, well, is there anything now that you would like to have, would like to do before uh, you would... Well, it's Scotland, you would Scotland, 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 and Celtic and QE and... Oh, I never missed a Celtic match. Oh, Jesus, I, I, you, I, you, when you were living there, you smoked. Oh, I, I was staying with Mary, my sister. Aye, Mary Burners, we would know. Mary Oh, never much on that. No. Especially a packhead. Yeah. But you were working in Glasgow at that working time? Working in Glasgow, aye. Working for only Annie. Oh, right, aye. Only was the gang in Yeah, she was the boss, aye. Oh, but Jerry was good to the line, you Yeah, yeah. He was never talking about you, man. Yeah, yeah, right. Fair play to him, aye. Right. Oh, well, that was it. Well, that's now the whole thing's now to it now, so. <laughs> Well, I wish you all the best and thank you very much for, uh -huh. for the interview and uh, it's great to have it on record. Now. You know, so the very best luck to you in the future. Too.